Hello everyone, as we know Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will open Marvel's Phase 5 of the MCU this month, but we might already know what happens in the highly anticipated sequel. After the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania plot leak dropped in the late July, we have another extensive leak detailing the entire story. This one shares plenty of information just like the previous leak. As always with such leaks, there is no way to tell whether they are genuine and the two leaks are not perfect match. But there is always a chance this is the real thing. We may even see who will be playing Mr. Fantastic in the Fantastic Four in the film. In that case, you should know that Massive Quantumania spoiler will follow. After spoiler warning, let's start our video. The sources say the leak has been verified, which should inspire confidence that we are looking at the real deal. Like the previous plot, this one indicates that both Ant-Man and Wars families will be soaked into the quantum world in the movie. That's thanks to Cassie's invention, something we see in the trailer. Cassie and Scott Lang from one group, Hope, Janet and Hank are in the other. Quantumania will finally let us discover the civilization living in the quantum world, something we have been waiting for since the first movie. The Quantumania plot leak also mentions the villains. Mordog is a mechanized organism designed only for killing or a big core stole head. More importantly, we will get to understand the backstory of the Kang, Jonathan Majors variant that will appear in the Ant-Man 3. Or simply, Kang has a history with the Janet trying to escape the quantum realm and he has killed Avengers before. Now he wants Scott to help him to get out. From the lead plot, we have found out Janet and Kang were both trapped in the quantum realm together in the past. He has a ship that can travel the multiverse. Janet and he were fixing it. He wanted to help her fix time so she could get her time back with hope. Janet discovered he was evil via neural connection he has with his ship. After confronting him, confirming his nature, she destroyed the equipment that made his ship work and trapped them both deeper in the quantum realm. Kang has been the conqueror ever since. He has been looking for Janet for revenge. Kang tells Scott he has beaten the Avengers several times. Kang asks him if he is the one with the hammer and Scott makes a joke about people confusing him with the Thor all the time. He wants Scott to help him get out of the quantum realm and says they should work together. Kang claims to be the only one who can stop what is coming. When Scott asks what that is, Kang simply says, me. Scott will reportedly get into the quantum nexus where he'll meet variant of himself from the multiverse, including Langs who are not superheroes. He will work with those Ant-Man variants against Modok for final battle which will be huge and will resemble the battle in the Aquaman to the certain degree. We see giant Cassie fighting Modok. She tries to talk him into switching side. Giant Scott and giant Cassie run to each other for a hug. He jokes about it feeling like he is hugging a Godzilla. Kang has a standoff with Scott, Hope and Cassie. Hank flies in with a legion battle armored ants and they attack Kang. He manages to hold them off with his power. Modok also shows up to help. Kang fatally injures Modok. The family goes to Modok's side. As he dies, he rubs his tiny hand on Scott's cheek. There's an emotional moment where Modok says Cassie was right about him and that he at least died an Avenger. Scott says he did a good job and agrees. Kang survived the fight and stops Scott just as they are all going back to their universe. Janet, Hank, Cassie and Hope escape. Kang beats the shit out of Scott. Hope comes back for him. They almost manage to trap Kang in the quantum realm, but he escapes and traps Scott and Hope inside. So that's apparently how the movie ends. Scott and Hope will be stranded, while Cassie will probably be trying to get them back. But then she'll find mysterious details that will make her gasp, just before the screen cuts to black. So that's it guys, let me know what you think in the comment below about this problem. Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Peace.